Hey YouTube, it's Taki with Taki Tech. Okay, so now we're going to jump into the portion of our project where we're going to create a new sheet um, for the new data to go on. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually create a new module. And I like to really do this just to separate out the code and make things a little bit easier uh, to, to organize here or, or to, to test and, and, and this, to, this keeps everything easy um, to go back into later on. So I'm going to call this Sheets. And I do recommend that if you do write VBA on Excel, um, that you have, have a module called Sheets. And basically, this is just going to run all of your uh, all of your functions and, and procedures and, and uh, subroutines for Sheets. All right, so um, I'm going to do my option explicit up here. And I'm going to create do a function, a, a subroutine. So I'm going to call it public because I'm going to I want other modules to have access to this uh, subroutine. Public sub um, new sheet. All right. Um, not passing anything in yet. Possibly we'll pass in a name, and then maybe I'll have something down here where we'll have a private subroutine that will rename the sheet. Maybe. We'll think about that as we get further on on in it. Normally, th th this isn't that big of a project, but if we if you have a really big project where you're going to be doing a whole lot of different things, you really want to have this kind of planned out, mapped out, whiteboarded out um, prior to you actually making and writing code. All right, so here we go. New sheet. So we're going to do um, active sheet, active sheets, active workbook, okay. active workbook to actually choose the particular workbook that you're on and then we're gonna do sheets and you can see it pops right up you go sheets that's that um, the dot operator sheets and I hit tab to give me the sheets dot add that's it one line of code now normally if it's only going to be one line of code probably don't want to write a whole new subroutine now we're probably going to do a little, something a little bit more complex with this and it is already complex because it's already going all the way over to sheets so that's the reason why we're doing it with this one line of code if it's just one line of code just write the one line of code but if it's going to be like three or more lines of code you're going to want to make it its own subroutine and split it out and call it from the main area of your program all right, let's get let's go back to get data. And we're going to call new sheet. Create a new sheet. New sheet. I wrote it all in lowercase letters. So when I hit the down arrow key, boom, it pops up. It gives me that 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 camel case, so to speak. Even though this isn't technically well, it's kind, it is camel case, and um, it's not a variable cam camel case where the first letter is lowercase. And that's the difference between a, a, in my coding. Uh, hierarchy difference between a function or a subroutine and a variable is that that first letter is um, uppercase or lowercase so uppercase for a function lowercase for a new variable so um, let's go to our Excel spreadsheet and see what happens when we click that button now there's our new sheet now it's coming in before names under something that we can do to correct that and that's what we'll talk about in the next video so if you like this please give it a thumbs up um, and if you would like to subscribe, if you like the content that you're seeing on this channel, if this is like your third or fourth video, please subscribe. Um, make sure you guys leave comments and thank you and take it easy.